good morning students welcome to the class today we are going to learn a very interesting poem that is the river now i want everyone to open your english textbook page number 53 everyone open your english textbook to page number 53 now you can see the title the river now we all have seen rivers yes when we visit to some places or in villages we see rivers right now this poem is all about the nature of the river what is the nature of the river what it does so let's start and discover new things about river which we never knew the river is a wanderer now what do you mean by wanderer underline the word wanderer means the person or the thing that roams here and there it is not stable at one place and it is of course right the river is a wanderer the river never stays at one place it is always flowing from one place to another a nomad a nomad a tram now what do you mean by nomad someone who does not like to live in one place and what is tram someone who has no home or job keeps moving from place to place now the poet here says that river is a wanderer who does not like to stay at one place or do not have any job and is always moving from one place to another because it does not have any fixed house he doesn't choose one place to set up his camp now what is camp a place to stay now what the poet is saying that the river never chooses one place to set up his house or to stay there the river is a winder through valley and hill he twist and he turn he just cannot be still now in this paragraph the river the river is always flowing through the valleys hills mountains and always has a twist and turn twist and turn means when it flows from mountains it falls from very high height to the ground then again making it path it flows in different direction it forms many curves you can see in this image this river is forming curve so that's why the poet is saying that he twist and he turns he just cannot be still what do you mean by still still means stable the river cannot be still it always moves from one place to another through valleys and hills he also twist and turns in its path but he cannot be still or stable or it cannot stay in one place the river is a hoarder now what do you mean by hoarder someone who collects large amount of something now when a river flows it collects all the things on the bank right we have seen it contains mud stone even the garbages that we throw on the bank of river when it flows it carries all the thing with it so the river is something that collects everything and he buries down deep those little treasures that he want to keep now you can see the treasure so the poet says that the river carries all the things and buries down in the deep ground below it those little treasure that he wants to keep now what he says that the river wants to keep the little treasures inside it so it carries all the things from the banks and buries it down to the ground the river is a baby he gurgles and hums now what do you mean by gurgles make a low happy sound 
you have uh, seen a river flowing and the sound that the river makes how it is like it is like a baby's gurgle baby's gurgle means baby's laugh and hums and sounds like he is happily sucking his thumb now here the poet is talking about the voice that we get when the river is flowing or the noise of the flowing river so how it is like it is like a baby's gurgles and hums means baby's laugh it sounds like he is happily sucking his thumb now you have seen baby sucking his or her thumb so the same sound comes from the flow of the river the river is a singer as he dances along the countryside echoes the note of his song now what does the poet says the river is a singer why when it flows all the area that are situated on the bank of the river or along the river side they get echoes of that sound and the note of his song what is the note of his song when the river flows the sound that comes out and the echoes that are formed is the note of his song that's why the river is a singer when it flows the sweet music or the sweet sound that comes is a countryside echo and the note of his song that the river is singing the river is a monster hungry and vexed now what do you mean by vexed annoyed he is gobbled up trees and he will swallow you next now here the poet is talking when the river is flooded then it seems to be like a monster who is ready to eat up everything it carries away large trees large mountains rocks and next when it enters into the villages or city he is ready to sw swallow us also right when there is flood in the rivers it breaks many houses many houses many parts of the houses flow away with the very strong flow of river right the trees rocks mountains everything is eaten up by the river so in this poem first the poet tells us that a river is a wanderer it never stays at one place it always moves from one place to another next he says that the river flows from hills and mountains he twist and he turns in the way but he cannot be still or stay at one place then he says that river is a hoarder means it carries everything with him that comes in his way and dumps all the little treasure below the river or in the bottom of the river that he wants to keep next the poet compares the river to a baby's gurgle what he says that the noise that comes from the river is like a small baby's gurgle and the sound like he is happily sucking his thumb then the poet says that the river is a singer when it flows the noise that come is the echo and the notes of his song that the river is singing then at last the poet says that a river becomes a monster or devil when it is flooded it swallows everything that comes in its way that is trees rocks mountains house of the people and even he will swallow us next so this is all about the river hope you all understood but still if you have any doubt or you did not understand any part of this poem you can ask me okay everyone bye take care